10 years ago started uh, mountain biking as a form of cross training and now it's advanced through the progressions of um, state um, rankings where I went from a beginner to a sport category to now an expert category um, where I'm one of the fastest in the state. In this profession, I'm constantly working within the healthcare industry. Obviously, I'm dealing with the healthcare of intercollegiate athletes where the correlation is um, maintaining some form of balance in mind, body, and spirit in your own personal life. So this would be the five hours a week where I commit to working my body and keeping myself competitive. I think, you know, after a, a day, even though I'm I might seem active at the workplace. I mean, there's a lot of standing. Um, there's still administrative work where you're sitting down. And um, I just know to, to keep me healthy, happy, keep my marriage um, happy, um, I have to burn energy. So it's just, uh, for me, it's, it's going out there and just burning off some steam. But it's just the challenge. I mean, you're going down extreme rock faces and boulders and weaving through cactuses at speed and it's a huge adrenaline rush. That's just something I didn't get um, in the last few years of my soccer career. So to transition to a sport that was challenging, that, um, that I, could, I was seeing improvements in, um, made me want to con continue it even further. I'm not getting any younger, so where I used to, you know, to vent my stress, maybe in the mosh pit of a Metallica concert or some heavy metal bands, you know, now it's, it's hardcore mountain biking. I'm at a point in my life now where I'm doing things that 19 year olds are doing and I'm doing it well, so why, why stop doing that? I wanna, I wanna continue to, um, you know, if you want to just say it, beat yourself up on the trail and just, you know, work hard. And yeah, it's, there's impacts, there's abuse, um, but I, I want to continue to do it for as long as I can.